Good morning. It's August 1st, 2022. Boy, am I glad June and July are over. Those have been rough months. I don't know if it was the heat or if it was the illness I had around May or what, but man, past two months I have been so much more tired. And I gotta tell you, I've been hitting my sleep goal, according to my watch anyway, whatever it thinks I need to have, which is eight hours, uh, a lot lately. And for the longest time, before I started this diet, I never got any sleep. I was always up all night. I had insomnia a lot. And shortly after starting to eat this way, I found myself sleeping four, five hours a night and waking up early in the morning, being ready for the day. It was, it was so unusual and I would fall asleep just like that. I still fall asleep very easy, which has been a tremendous blessing. A great part of starting lion diet. And uh, I still fall asleep that way. But now a lot of times I don't want to wake up. I wake up in the morning, I'm not ready to go. Well, this morning was different. I did go to bed a lot earlier last night, probably around eight o'clock. I had a weekend of rest and it was nice because I could tell my body needed it. Saturday, actually, we, uh, I spent a little bit of time exercising because I was out on the water. I went down to Crystal River with uh, my wife and uh, some friends of ours and got to do some time swimming in the spring there. Went to the Three Sisters Spring, which was beautiful. A lot of people this time of year. It gets so crowded. It's hard to really enjoy it too much, but it was just felt so good to get in that water and to do some swimming. So I think after that day in the sun and swimming, and I was thinking I was taking a day off Saturday, but I really did put a lot of effort into that swimming. So Sunday, I just rested all day. And it was nice to give my body that rest because I woke up this morning feeling refreshed. And I know I, I feel like I need to talk about this because I've talked to a lot of y'all about how I try to push to do exercise every day. And even I'm realizing that's not really a realistic goal. And uh, I kind of knew it all along because I figured I'd miss a day here and there and I was averaging five to six days a week of working out anyway. But the problem with that is I feel like I'm not uh, keeping a consistency and I'm breaking my own rules enough to where it builds up in my mind. It's kind of a, a OCD perfection thing I have where I, I'm just constantly telling myself, nope, you didn't do it this week. Nope, you didn't do it this week. So I'm trying to switch to something different, maybe six days on, one day off, or five days on and two days off, or some sort of alternation. But this week it's six on and one off. So we'll see how that goes uh, this following week. Another thing I've learned over the past couple of years, I really enjoyed having an Apple Watch that tracks all my sleep and tracks my steps and tracks my workouts. But I'm gonna tell you, I've been thinking lately about how I've kicked so many dependencies I had on, on stimulants and chemicals and foods and things that I've been eating and putting in my body that I needed for comfort or needed to be able to get through the day that I didn't really need. And uh, I'm starting to look at my technology that way, especially when it starts to have little errors like listening to the music on my iPhone and suddenly all my, all my playlists are mixed up and I don't know how that happened or there's songs missing. And I think, how in the world did that happen? That's annoying because I spent a lot of time and money setting that stuff up. And then today, my Apple Watch has been asking me, if I, asking me if I want to end my workout every three seconds. Even though it's still recording the workout, it keeps bumping me and trying to tell me I need to, you know, I'm not doing anything. And it's, it's thinking I'm not doing anything, but it shows that it's tracking my distance. So I'm really getting to the point where I don't even want to have this technology anymore. I mean, I'm thankful for having this phone so that I can do all this recording while I'm walking like this. And make things so easy but sometimes it starts to feel like it's something that it's not good for me if it gets me to a point where I can't be independent this is something I learned a lot about working with the elderly when I was working in a retirement home one of the things that we tried very hard not to let the staff do or any of us do was to do things for our residents that they could do for themselves because we come to find that the more you do for them that they can do for themselves, the more they'll let you do for them. And then they won't be able to do it for themselves. They actually lose the ability. 
It's that old saying of use it or lose it. And if we keep leaning on all these crutches, which is very similar to having somebody else do the job for you a lot of times, then uh, we're gonna lose our own ability to do it, to do the things we need to do. Uh, the more I feel like I have to depend on something on the outside, the less strong I feel like I am and ready for whatever may come. I mean, what if all this stuff was gone? What if, what if I had lost the ability to eat sugary foods and vaping and other things that I was doing to stimulate my body all at once because of an economic breakdown? It would be a heck of a lot harder to adjust to the change than it will be now that I've been putting my body and my mind through a lot of changes, being more dependent upon myself and not dependent upon chemicals and other things to help me. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm very thankful for the technologies we have, the things that make it easier for us to cook food, the things that make it easy for us to be able to see in the dark. These are wonderful advances. The iPhone is an amazing device, replaced so many different things. But it's just there's a point where we become dependent upon these things to where we're no longer able to do certain things and that's when it becomes a problem. And uh, I just encourage you to, to get some of the garbage out of your life. Whatever it is that you're leaning on to have comfort in your mind and in your, your daily activity, if it's not coming from within or it's not something that's on your spiritual side that's, that's helping you be more grounded in your life, Try to cut some of those things out because you'll find that you can operate a lot smoother if you can do things independently. And you'll be able to grow into your age a lot easier if you're independent. One of the hardest things I see when I was working at the retirement home was seeing especially the older men who were so used to being the one who carried the load and that were handling things, or especially an older woman who had been on her own for a very long time it's hard for them to go into a dependent situation like they do when they get older. But at the same time, there's certain things they have to recognize that they're limited in. Well, we're limiting ourselves way early when we're constantly dependent upon other things to help us keep track of what's going on. We're constantly dependent on other people to motivate us. We're constantly dependent upon uh, drugs and foods to make us feel a certain way. Otherwise, we can't function right. That's just no way to live, and you're setting yourself up for a much harder old age. Old age is gonna come to all of us if we're blessed enough to live that long. But at the same time, it doesn't have to be as rough as it can be. If you're not, if you're just taking care of your body and taking care of your mind, it can be a whole lot smoother in those golden years. When you have some wisdom, you can have the physical strength and the wherewithal to still enjoy life. And that's what I want to see for everyone out there, is that you are living the fullest life that you can. Uh, because life is full of tragedy, life is full of difficulty and pain, and storms are coming your way. But if you can be prepared, the storm is coming. Are you going to be prepared for it? Life is full of storms. And I want you to face your storms strong and just ready to take on the day. That's all I got for today. I'll see you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?